welcome back. No, not welcome back. Welcome to <laughs> Half-Life Opposing Force. It's the uh, one of the expansion packs for Half-Life, the original. Um, it was released uh, November 1999, so we're going way back again, but it was, I think, the year after Half-Life. That was 98. Uh, developed by Gearbox Software and Valve, and published by Sierra Studios. So, um, from what I understand, this is... Uh, you you are playing a character from the army or the military um, that we saw in the original Half Life, which I obviously just played in my last uh, playthrough, my my last let's play, and um, so basically we're kind of taking charge of of one of the enemy from the last game, if you know what I mean. So that's kind of a a different concept. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but. Maybe we'll have some redeeming qualities, <laughs> or at least I'll try to make us have some. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. Can't wait. Here we go. Rise and shine, ladies! My name is Senior Drill Instructor Dwight T. Barnes. The first and last words I want to hear out of your stinking holes is, Sir, do I make myself clear? Sir, yes, sir! My goal is simple. As of right now, you are all maggots. You will not speak until spoken to. You will not sleep unless told to do so. Great. When I ask you to jump, you will reply with how high. Do you get me? Sir, sir yes, yes, sir. sir. <laughs> oh, shit, he's coming. Look straight ahead. What's your name, dirtbag? Uh... Sound off like Mercs. you got a pair. Corporal Shepard, huh? Oh. Looks more like Corporal oh. Dog Meat Sorry. to me. <laughs> Seems your name was mysteriously bumped to the top of the advanced training list. My suggestion to you is to get your ass down to the training center and report to Drill Instructor Sharp ASAP. Now move it, Corporal. Wow, okay. Gotta go find Sharp. Where are you so from, my name soldier? is A. Texas? Shepard. Holy cow! You know what comes from Texas, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you don't want to mess with this guy. You eyeballing me, boy? You <laughs> He's intense. Alright, so yeah, this is the, um, it's called the boot camp, which I guess is the equivalent of the previous game's, um, hazard course. Basically a tutorial, you know? So I thought I'd include this, just so everyone can see, in case they're not familiar with the game or whatever. Plus, it's good to get uh, acquainted with our new surroundings, and maybe there's going to be like new items or something. I don't know. It's always better to be prepared. Right. Uh, it's just a habit of mine that I always have to try everywhere, just in case. I'm not expecting to be able to get through, but no. You never know. Right, so we have to find... Oh, look at this. We have to find the uh, advanced training facility. <laughs> it's cool, actually. They have a nice uh, little base here. I'm just wandering off <laughs> straight away. Wow. That's one of those things I had so much problems with in the first game. Okay, sorry, my bad. Just curious. Gotta scope out the surroundings. Ooh. Ah. Cool. I don't think we ever saw one of those move in the first one. I'm sorry, Corporal. This is a restricted area. Yeah. All right, Corporal. I'm not sure how far that up uh, that is up on the ranking uh, scale. One, two, three, four. You call that a push-up? All the way down. <laughs> Tactical operation command sounds cool. Here we go, advanced training facility. This is me. Oh, the camera's following me around. <laughs> it 
that's so cool. Uh. This is a restricted area, soldier. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, Corporal. This is a restricted area. All right. Middle it is. All right, maggot, listen up. <laughs> I don't care what your previous outfit was like, but around here we do things my way. Follow my instructions carefully, and by the end of the day, I'll have you eating danger and cropping victory. <laughs> now move your butt, soldier. I will meet you on the other side in the armory. Great. Can't wait to sit down after and crap out some victory. Can't beat that. Oh, hey. Oh, I'm not, I don't have a suit. God, they're not very patient, are they? Oh, here we go. Nice. This is a powered combat vest. Use it correctly and I guarantee it will save your life. Your PCV is able to recharge from battery power, or it can interface and recharge with commercial, military, and HEV charging stations. Okay. So it's similar what to what I... For? Oh, for God's sake. PCV and get it fully charged. Yes, now, sir. It, you're gonna need it. <laughs> I'll meet you in the next area to demonstrate some of your best capabilities. Okay. So yeah, this is basically my um, hazard suit, or whatever it was called in the first game. Can use the original kind. That's something new. Ohm's Power Ink. And this is also new. So there's a lot more. Uh, there's a lot of different options to use for recharging the suit, which is great. Hopefully they're widely available because I struggled quite a bit with the energy in the first game. I, I found there wasn't that much of it. Or maybe I just misused it. <laughs> That's quite possible. Test firing chamber. Sounds promising. Oh. Oh, no it doesn't. <laughs> Are you serious? Is there not a better way? Like, hey. Tell me how effective this suit is with your words, sir. No? Okay. Oh, fucking hell. That was loud. Okay. I mean, I feel like there must be a better way <laughs> than that, but fair enough. What a job that must be. You're going to have to pick up the pace, dirtbag. My beloved core does not have the patience to wait around for your worthless butt. All right. The following areas will simulate many of the environmental hazards you are likely to encounter in the field. Run through it as quickly as you can, and try to avoid taking too much damage. A dead marine is a worthless marine! I will see you up ahead if you can make it through alive. Okay. Flammable liquids. Okay, here we go. Oh shit! Straight into the face of danger. Oh, what the hell is that? Slippery oil, okay. <laughs> Electricity. Steam. Yeah, they're not holding anything back here, are they? And of course, radiation. Wouldn't be Half Life without radiation. I'm ready. With you yet. Proceed through that door into the small staging room and await my instructions. Yes, sir. You sound like he didn't expect me to make it. <laughs> In addition to providing protection, your PCV has other capabilities. Ooh. Once the light goes out, the door in front of you will open. Activate your night vision goggles to navigate this maze and exit on the other side. Now move like you've got a purpose. Okay, that's cool. How dark is it in here? Okay, yeah, it's fucking dark. Oh, yeah! Oh, that's amazing. This feels like all recon. <laughs> I 
There we go. That's nice. I like that part. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll be damned! You may just have what it takes to be a soldier! Now double time it over to the next portion of your training! Wait, can I go up here? Basic training. Move outdoors. Alright, maggot. Let's see if you can move your butt through my obstacle course. On your mark. Get set. Oh boy. Go, go, go! This is the kind of stuff that I would suck at platform. in real life. Move, move. Duck. Now jump. Get your sorry ass moving. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? Get your okay, ass yeah, 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 yeah. Scale that wall. Hurry it up. Get over that beam! Not bad. I thought we were training soldiers here. Oh! Trying to embarrass me? Come on, that wasn't bad. Proceed to the next area. Come on, double time it. Move, move, move! Jeez. Rope. Let's see if you can climb faster than you can run. Touch Ready? ropes to attach to them. Climb up and down ropes by looking in the direction you wish to travel and pressing the forward key. Press the jump key or climb off the bottom to detach. That's oh, that's so cool. Very good. Maybe there's oh. hope for you yet. Now, want to come up here and try to knock me off? <laughs> you can definitely climb better than you can run. Shit. Now let's see if you can use the I almost died. Just simple <laughs> climbing. Jesus. Jump. Catch that rope and use your momentum to swing across. Oh the yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Take more coordination than you have, soldier. I want you to swing from rope oh, to that rope sucked. and meet me at the end of the course. Okay, okay, I, I understand. I got it. I got this. Oh, yeah, come on. Yes. That was cool. It looks cool and it was cool. I'm almost impressed, soldier. Meet me in <laughs> me the next too. section and let's see if I can shake you up a bit. Oh, boy. That doesn't sound great. Can't believe I have 28 health. Oh god, there's some. You better move like you got a purpose. <laughs> okay, soldier, this is a live fire exercise. Oh this one boy. Will give you a taste of what it's like to be in the field. Keep your head low and move between cover. I want to see your face in the dirt, soldier. Oh, this doesn't sound good. Go, go, go. Live yeah, fire. Better. Yeah, Get I'm not fond of that. Oh Take shit. Dirt, move, move it, oh. Seriously. Oh yeah, this is intense. Oh fucking hell. Arr! Come on. Christ. Stop. Fucking hell. <laughs> That's crazy. That was intense. I mean, I feel like it was a little overboard. Very good, soldier. Move on for your next phase of training. Jesus. Oh, is this my turn? Pistol range. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay. On the table, you will see your standard issue sidearm. Pick it up and step over to the pistol range. The object of this exercise is to familiarize yourself with the functions and use of your weapon. The goal is for you to place six shots within the inner circle of each target. You may begin. Okay. To increase the accuracy of the Desert Eagle, press the Attack 2 key to activate and deactivate the laser sight. Oh, okay, so the alternate fire. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. Three, four, five, six. One. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Oh, fuck. Three, four, five, six. You may proceed to the next section of the training course. That's so cool. I like this pistol better than the other one. 
in in the in the uh, original game. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> oh fuck sniper. Yes. Come on. Let's get it. This exercise will train you in the use oh, of the yes. sniper rifle. Proceed to the table, pick up the sniper Oh, that's rifle, awesome. Position yourself on the firing line. Firing line here. Let's get stuck. Oh, this is so cool. In this exercise, you <laughs> will be firing at targets I love it. moving and stationary at medium, long, and extreme ranges. As you will notice, your sniper rifle comes equipped with a scope. I Use noticed. This scope to magnify your view, making the distant targets easier to see. In the distance, you will notice three stationary targets partially concealed. Hit each of these targets to advance to the next stage of targets. <laughs> Yeah, I like a sniper, I do. Good. Now let's see how you do with simple moving targets at that range, soldier. It takes a little while to reload. Oh. Very good. Now let's see if you can hit the moving targets at long range. Make sure to take your time and line up those shots, soldier. Wait, oh, okay there. Oh shit. Where are they going? Okay, that is it random? Make sure to take careful aim, soldier. Patience is key for those crucial shots. Oh, how did he get there? <laughs> oh. Yeah, it takes long to reload and also to um prepare for the next shot, if you know what I mean. Where is uh where's the other one? Oh no. Oh. oh, this is bad. <laughs> Come on. Head in the game. Not bad, not bad at all, soldier. Now let's see if you can do the same at extreme range. Oh. Oh, I thought it was going to go over there. Unbelievable. You can actually shoot. I'd actually Little bit. letting you cover my ass in a firefight. Thanks. I'm with you, soldier. Proceed to the next area and report to the next drill instructor. Oh, that's so cool. I I hope I get to use this a lot in the game. I'll just camp out somewhere. Thanks, Corporal. Look at that in there. <laughs> that's so cool. Whoa! Look at the size of that one. Okay, yeah, this is this is nice. Squad training. Right, dirt bag. You've proven yourself a capable grunt. Now let's see if there's any <laughs> leadership qualities in that sorry carcass of yours. To become an effective leader, you must familiarize yourself with the skill set of each soldier in your platoon. The first type of soldier you will meet is the engineer. Engineers Fuck, have a knack for getting me. you in and out of places that are otherwise inaccessible. Take charge and have him follow you to the sealed door. Okay, engineer. Oh, you look cool. Yes, sir. Yeah, I like you. Come. What are you gonna do? You blow it up? Stand back, Corporal. Uh -huh. That should only take a minute. Oh, cool. Oh, he's blow torching it. I want one of those. <laughs> That's so cool. Maybe I'm just easily pleased, I don't know, but it's a nice change. See, this soldier may prove quite useful in the field. Yeah, no Once kidding. Once you've oh. the room, proceed through the door and meet the next type of soldier. Okay. What up, bro? What the hell? Why did I get... Oh, because it was blowtorched. I got... It was hot. <laughs> the medic can be one of the most valued soldiers on the ah, field. Ah, yeah, they yeah, yeah. The ability to heal both you and your fellow squad members. To receive medical attention, simply hold down your use key and the medic will apply first aid. Oh Once yeah. The medic has attended to your wounds. Proceed to the next area to complete your training. Oh, I'm going to like these guys a lot. They're like a walking health unit. Look at that. That's amazing. <laughs>
In these situations, you will need to utilize any available military radios. These radios can be used to call in reinforcements or gain vital military oh, intelligence. Oh, okay, they can't be Approach used. the radio and use it, soldier. No. Oh. Oh, what the opposition. fuck? Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so they're actually utilizing things soldier, that were in the first game. I'm proud to say you are a soldier. I'm sure you'll be a credit to your unit. Now report to duty, soldier. Yes, sir. That's so cool. Okay, so what I liked about that was... Um, I thought it was better than the original Half-Life's um, tutorial, the Hazard course. Um, I don't know, it felt a bit more engaging. Um, definitely the new features are appealing to me, like the radios, uh, the guns. Yeah, 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 the sniper. <laughs> Can't wait to use that. And also, um, the medics, that's going to be cool, because I'm always in need of health, obviously, because I suck. And uh, the new um, the new recharge points for the uh, the suit. That's going to be cool. Not to mention the engineers. Like, I've got a feeling we're going to have to use those quite a few times, too. So, yeah, I enjoyed that. That was nice. Um, now I'm just looking forward to getting into the actual game to see where our humanity is <laughs> you know are we uh, am I able to be a good guy or you know am I gonna be hunting Gordon Freeman the whole time or you know I'm, I'm, I'm kind of interested in to see how that plays out because as far as we know maybe they're maybe the military were just doing what they were told you know the there was something that Gordon and the other scientists didn't know uh, what was happening or you know they had orders or something like that I'm not sure so maybe we're okay. I'm not too keen on the idea of playing uh, somebody bad just yet. So we'll see what happens. And uh, the next episode that I record will be the actual game. So we'll get straight on to that as soon as I can. And uh, I'll see you there. Thanks, guys. Take care. Ciao.